Okay, so we are revisiting the Freddy Krueger bus bank custom. In the previous video you saw that I was doing the legs, his boots, and I blended it in nicely with his jumper. But now I'm going to take it one step further and I'm going to give him an actual material jumper. And here's the material here. So that's the red and then I'm going to use some uh, material paint to paint the stripes on. But in order to get it looking proper and uh, make the sleeves look right, I'm going to have to go in and cut a seam up his arm here and underneath. That way I'll be able to thread the sleeve down underneath, tuck it away and then it'll all blend in. Uh, with the rest of the jumper hopefully it's going to be a bit tricky but let's see how it goes okay so my little girl's fast asleep so I really wanted to go at this with the Dremel but because she's asleep I've had to hack away a bit at it with uh, my Stanley knife being very careful not to cut myself but uh, luckily the plastic is quite uh, thin and the Stanley knife just uh, with a brand new blade on just cut through quite easily so turn that around you can see the arm is now cut away from the body I'm just get my finger in there as you can see you can actually see the PVC pipe I used for the legs so that I've got plenty of room now to get the jumper over his head the body and the sleeves. Okay, I know this looks uh, a bit baggy at the moment, a bit long, all that I get trimmed at the end. So what I've done is I've gone in with the black marker and marked a line down the inside of where, this, where I'm going to be sewing. I probably, obviously, I think I'll just say I've gone in a bit too far. So that's on the inside there and on the inside there, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew up the left hand edge first and then I'm going to trim the shoulders down and sew them up obviously I'm going to fold this inside out and do it inside out so you can't see the stitching and then I'm going to do the same on the right hand side and obviously once all this is done it's not going to fit over the, the uh, figure itself just because of the way the arms are situated so once it's all done and I've done the arms and trimmed the arms down what I'll do is I'll cut a slit up the back, top to bottom, and then I'll get some Velcro and Velcro it shut at the back. Okay, let's get the left hand edge sewn up first. Okay guys we're almost there, I've sewn the left side and the right side and as I mentioned uh, it's been sewn up it won't actually go over the figure, um, figure shoulders so what I'm going to do now is cut a slit down the back, slide it on and then we can see if it needs adjusting 
and I'll just it at the back to make it tight and add some velcro. Okay we're almost finished, the slip wall sleeves are done and sewn in place. Just need to sew up the back as you can see. I didn't bother sewing the uh, arm that's um, bent, it was way too hard. Uh, trying to get a thread the needle underneath so I've used glue. And you can see it's gone white so I'll touch that with a bit of red uh, material paint. And again it was quite hard to sew this arm as well so what I did is I sewn the shoulder inside out and then once it was on I just stitched the arm itself uh, from the outside. As you can see there. But um, that's at the back anyway. You can't see it from the front. So all I need to do is close up the back and then paint the stripes on. <laughs> 